Mr. Kluge, today Europe's young generation is facing some major problems, one of them being unemployment. You are engaging in an attractive project in Sweden, which offers new future prospects for the younger generation. How does that work? So the project that you're referring to is called Summer of Soil, and it's a project that started last year um, aiming to increase awareness about soil degradation and to empower mainly young people to get involved with reversing that towards regenerating soils and towards living soil. Um, and a long-term goal would be to create employment. Um, it's sort of like the issue of soil degradation, for example, in Europe, uh, could be very well combined with youth unemployment. You could basically employ youth to restore soils, and that can happen in multiple ways. But the most um, uh, sort of common way is to grow food. Uh, so if uh, young people were um, able to move to rural areas and grow food in a way that would restore soils, then you solve a whole um, series of challenges all at the same time, which is um, food production and uh, livelihoods and jobs for these young people, as well as soil degradation, uh, etc. But um, the difficulty is that uh, it's s sort of difficult to impossible for young people to get access to land. Um, that's the first thing. And the second thing is very hard to make money with uh, food production currently, especially on a small scale, because our um, food production is happening on large scale. What could the government do to strengthen these projects? So one of the things that um, government can do is to actually support small scale initiatives. Lots of small scale is a large scale. So if there's lots of small scale initiatives together, then that would have an impact. So if government can, um, can support lots of small scale initiatives, then that would be very beneficial. Many young people don't feel they should engage politically in their countries and especially not on a European level. What are your personal motivations? Well, the first motivation is that um, uh, politicians work for us, for the people, uh, and therefore we need to tell them what they need to do for us. So that's the first thing. You, you can't, politicians can't work separately from society or from citizens. They have, there, have to, there has to be a relation in order for the democracy to function. That's the first thing. And the other thing is that um, many young people don't realize what government is actually doing for them, uh, have no idea what what's actually happening and how they could benefit from what's happening. Um, and this is one of the things that we're trying to do, which is often a communication issue. And the politicians don't know how to communicate to young people and the, and the young people don't know how to, how to understand politicians. Um, so what you need is people in between that sort of communicate, like, look, this is happening in Brussels and it's interesting for us because, etc., etc. And there are various groups doing this uh, and we're trying to do this as well. We experience that today's economic model is not working anymore to guarantee a sustainable future. How is your initiative, the Summer of Soil, responding to that? And what we try to do with the Summer of Soil is first of all raise awareness about it, second of all empower young people um, really practically hands-on how can you actually uh, take care of soils, what are the different strategies and really hands-on to improve soil quality, to improve soil life, to increase soil fertility, biodiversity, etc. And then third of all, how to strategize. What are, um, we call it acupuncture points. So where is the system stuck? Uh, and how can we shift those, uh, how can we shift leverage points or acupuncture points in the system um, so that we can shift towards um, a sort of um, system which automatically benefits soils uh, and has then all these other effects like sequestering carbon from the atmosphere, creating livelihoods for young people, producing healthy food for people to eat, etc., etc. Marina Petrovic, you work for the UNDP Green Office in Zagreb, Croatia. What are you doing exactly in your project? So, um, we are trying to develop energy cooperatives and renewable energy projects. Uh, the main goal of our project is to promote sustainable development and renewable energy through cooperatives and that is owned locally by our local people. Uh, emphasize here by uh, local people because most of these projects are now developed by foraging investors who um, and people and then it creates a NIMBY uh, syndrome, not in my backyard. 
So we will try with this our, with our project to put uh, more uh, ownership in the hands of local people. Uh, we understand that um, developing such projects is it cannot be able without uh, participation of local government. So people must be engaged in such projects. Um, and we see the future in it, and we see the future of Croatia, because uh, if we want to achieve European strategy 2020, we have to be more engaged, we have to uh, be more engaged in developing such projects. And uh, UNDP is trying now to uh, make seminars, workshops, lectures, uh, where they could meet local people with uh, advantages of such projects. What do you think, what political framework um, has to be delivered within Croatia and what do you expect from Europe so all these goals can be achieved? Um, for Croatia, I think like in the most countries there is a problem that there is like uh, there is no unique energy policy. I think first what, what we have to do is like if we want to create framework, we have to like um, in those and in that energy policy we must include not only energy aspects. We have to, uh, to include all policy like social, economical, and energy and put it in one policy because it is important because uh, th uh, these are all parts of uh, our future or our future in renewable and um, create and. Um, joining uh, Croatia, joining the European Union, uh, there are some advantages in it because European Union, like Germany, um, they had their reform like Energiewende. And so we, we would like to, to try to, to, pr uh, to probe some of uh, models to implement it in our policies. And um, hopefully we could create a unique policy for Croatia because uh, which is based on the um, uh, architecture, on the local people, on the way of living and, um, and on natural resources of Croatia.